Okay guys, so as has been consistent over the past few vlogs, RJ's cooking creations have blown us away. And it looks like based on the ingredients laid on this table right now, that RJ is once again working on a master culinary creation. Mabu High Squad. Check out what RJ's making. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Something involving pet chai. Hmm, I wonder what he's making. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh my, wow. Mmm, papaya. And what is this? Mmm, sardines. Pet chai. Pet chai and sardines. So like, basically like, almost like bok choy and sardines in a tomato-based sauce. Wow, how unique and original. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Honestly, the food. So good, home-cooked meals. Okay guys, let's try this. Sardines. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. I love sardines. <gasps> and the pet chai. Let's try the pet chai. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm hmm. Is it crunchy? Mm hmm. Delicious vegetables. So good. Mmm. Yum. It's delicious. A sauce. Yeah, it's a tomato based. Goes so well with the pet chai. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Everything is just so juicy and savory. Do you guys like sardines? So underrated, delicious, and apparently one of the best protein sources if you're working out. Mm. Protein and calcium. And calcium? All right. Oh my gosh, guys, look. There's a rainbow. Awesome. It's a sign, guys. And it's on Good Friday, too. Amazing. It's so beautiful. I wonder if we can find a pot of gold there. Oh, it's so nice, Mabu High Squad. What a gift, right? Love it. Good morning, Mabu High Squad. Here with RJ. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Just relaxing. Again, quiet Saturday. My Aunt's Canada video's done. It's up, ready to upload. Hope you guys like this episode. I'll be needing your help. The Gaia is up here. There she is. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little tail wag and wing flap and a hello. <laughs> so during the week, I'm working on Ants Canada and taking care of Ligaya and all my other pets. As for RJ, he cooks and he does things like this. Laundry. <laughs> so this laundry is drying. Oh, it's dried already, Be. Yeah. Okay, so this is done. Let me smell. Mmm, it smells good. He does the laundry in here. And you what, let it soak in the soap? Yeah. Powdered soap and swishes it around. Then rinse. After rinsing, put downy. Oh, after rinsing, you put downy, which is um, fabric softener. One. It depends on the thickness of the fabric. fabric. I see. Okay, so it, it stays in the fabric softener. Then it hangs. And then while it's hanging, this fan is on. <laughs> to help it dry. Yeah. We don't have a washing machine here, so that's the problem. We don't have a dryer. We're doing it old school, you know what I mean? Hi there, guys. So, you must be loving all of this home time, hmm? I bet you're wondering where Ate Elsie is. This bird keeps me sane in these crazy times. Do any of you guys have pets that are keeping you sane? Okay, positive affirmation of the day for Saturday, April the 11th. I am compassionate and understanding. I forgive and forget. Oh, like that. Especially this, I forgive and forget. Ah, uh, don't we all have to learn that? There you go, guys. Your positive affirmation of the day. So guys, I'm having some delicious pieces of chocolate eaten with chopsticks because I don't want to touch the chocolate. Mmm, delicious with macadamia nuts. Mm -mm. And to go with it, cheese singles. <laughs> I haven't eaten this since I was a kid. I can't get enough of it. I don't want to touch it though. How are you guys dealing with snacks and munchies? Mm. Honestly, since being in quarantine, RJ and I have been eating super healthy and also super unhealthy. <laughs> nice balanced diet, right? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Time to borrow some fish water. Yes, to water plants. Yes, awesome nitrates in here, I'm sure, for plants. All right, so I start up here. Yes. Water my kangkong, the new kangkong, drips into <gasps> the basil. And also, it drips through the bottom. Down, 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 
into that thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh, sayote. Yes, my sayote plant. Look at how big this kangkong plant is now. It extends all the way out there too. So let's water that now. Watering, watering, watering. Yes like so and then give it some more this one drinks a lot this plant then it flows and drips down to the camote look how big the camote plant is even already starting to climb we're gonna be harvesting these leaves soon and we'll be putting it in our like instant noodle and then once that fills up it drips down to my coriander and my basil yes see now both those pots have holes at the bottom so that they don't over flood. The water can just like drip. These basil are looking real nice right now. Awesome. Can't wait for RJ to start cooking with the herbs that we've grown ourselves. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. What a gorgeous day outside. Look at that sun. Mm. It's currently the summer months here in the Philippines. So it's starting to get really hot. And usually at this time, people are flocking to the beaches. But not now. Everyone is at home. And I'm looking and I'm seeing like... See down there? There are buildings that I guess are just on hold. Like they're not completing them right now because of this virus. There's another one here. Another building there, see? Just completely in standstill. Life feels like it's just completely standing still right now. So guys, rumor has it that things aren't going to get back to normal for another 12 to 18 months um, until they have a vaccine for it. That's crazy, wow. I'm reading all of your comments in the vlogs and you guys are updating everyone on what it's like where you live um, and it's just it's just all so crazy. I know I keep saying this, but this is really, really shaking things up. So many people's lives are affected by this. Economy is affected by this. Kids are affected by this. School needs to be done virtually now. And just all, I'm reading some really, really sad stories about what's happening in places like New York and other areas. It's just really, really, I can't believe this is real. It's like a real life movie. I don't know. Anyways, hope everybody is staying home, staying safe. I'm still reading about like people on cruises and stuff. Like how are people going on cruises? And then on these cruises, people are like infected by the coronavirus. Like people are testing positive on the cruise. We all need to be on the same page right now and stay home if you can. Word and power to all the frontliners. As we've mentioned before, RJ has started the Beat COVID Now campaign where you guys can help and donate to help supply the frontliners here in Manila with medical supplies and protective gear. So uh, thank you guys so much to all of you who have supported already. And if you can and still want to support, feel free. And we'll keep updating you guys on social media as to where your donations are going. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The Gaia is seriously a pro at using this foraging wheel. She knows how to get at the pellets. Go the guys, turn the wheel. Yep, and then she turns it in such a way that <laughs> she can get the furthest pellet. There you go, go, go. Oh, oh wow, you got two there. So talented. Birds need enrichment, guys. They're so smart. They need to be using their brain all the time. RJ, look how long your hair is now. Can I see? It's so long. It looks good no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> RJ's like, don't show me on camera. I'll grow it more. Don't grow it so long. Can I cut your hair? No. Please. <laughs> you did such a good job at fixing my hair. So I need to return the favor and fix yours too. I don't trust you with that. <laughs> Why not? It's annoying you. <laughs> Okay guys, now there's something that I've been meaning to ask you guys and get your opinions on. Um, something that RJ and I have been talking about for the past, what, like two months? Yeah. Um, now, we felt like we should ask you guys, Mumble High Squad, as to what we should do with this particular thing. So Mumble High Squad, what we want to ask you is 